Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is driving this week the new generation of the Toyota Mirai. What is a Mirai? Well, it's an hydrogen vehicle and yes, they are really, really, really rare. We tested the first generation, feel free to check in the card. We tested also the Hyundai Nexo, which is another rare manufacturer to offer an hydrogen car. But believe me, Right now, the infrastructure is not really there to fill up your car. Maybe in California, it's a little bit easier, but right here in Quebec, where I live, only one refueling station, no more than that. It's getting complicated because I've seen some error message on that pump and the price of hydrogen is really high. So back in the days, I was kind of really enchanted that hydrogen is going to be something new. It's going to offer some choice. You had some great promise from the government telling us that, hey, we're going to go that way. We're going to be the gold miners of hydrogen right here in Quebec, but it didn't really happen. So I'm kind of sad. So a lot of those projects that started with the first generation Mirai, well, those cars are now slipping in the government parking and they're not rolling. So I know Toyota still believe in the hydrogen and you can see it from the second generation of Mirai, which is really a good car. This car is handling well, this car is looking good, but hey, we need refueling. We need some infrastructure here before you're going to be able to buy this car and feel secure with it. Otherwise, this second generation Mirai has really a Lexus style. When you look at the exterior, you can see that it's based on a new platform. It's also going to be rear wheel drive and you've got 30% better performance than the previous generation. So does it really show on the range that you can do with the car? That's gonna have to be seen though. And there's also two different models this year, one more affordable and one that will go stratospheric when it comes to price. So I really dig the exterior. That car is looking really fancy. You can see the big wheels, 20 inches on the model right now, 19 base, the LED headlights up front. You can see also the rear design, which is kind of looking like the Toyota Crown. You could have put a Lexus logo on that car and the paint quality is so good also. The interior, it's refined. You've got the special H2O button right here that you can use. You can see that there's a big screen but still with a brand new old multimedia system and also it's kind of crazy to have the climate controls down there without really any indicator it's up there right there in the display and sometimes it could be small and you have those button to change the volume and no knob so i'm kind of sad for that otherwise it's looking fine the build quality is amazing but also it's kind of lacking some headroom depending on the height adjustment that you like with your seat how about the engine though well it's similar to an electric car that's the base of a hydrogen car you know it's using some electricity to power up those engines so that you can roll but otherwise there's a big difference the hydrogen is the combustible that you're going to put in those fuel cell that's going to generate power and then send it either through the battery or directly at the wheels so this is a feature that has been existing for a long time they even use that principle in the older apollo mission to generate some power inside those spaceship and you've got three different storage tank right there inside the car so the engine is going to be good for 180 82 electric horsepower, 221 pound-feet of torque, the battery 1.2 kilowatt hour, and you can do an estimated of 647 kilometers on a full range. If you go with the most equipped model, well, this will lower a little bit to 602. You've got different drive mode. As soon as you step on the accelerator, well, it's not that fast. The direction is kind of artificial, not really communicative, doesn't come back really easy also when you let it go. And this is not a sports car you know you can feel the weight of the car this is kind of sad in some kind of way because they put a lot of effort on the suspension and how better it should handle versus the previous generation it shows but it's not impressive for such a different car which is looking like luxury otherwise the fuel consumption also hydrogen consumption well they said you could do around 600 kilometers but I was not able to refuel in Quebec because the pump was out of order. So I had this message right here. Maybe they can use it with some special card. But let's say that somebody gets to that pump and he doesn't have that special card. Well, he's going to be doomed. And also for the price of hydrogen, these tanks around 5.6 kilograms 
of pure hydrogen inside those. So at the price that was marked on the tank, it's $96.88. So it's a lot of money and it will do around one kilogram per 100 kilometers that I've tested the car so far. So here in Quebec, we do some green hydrogen because we produce it with some electricity, which is green. In some other country though, it's not gonna be that great when you need to use some fossil, you need to use some fuel, you need to use something which is gonna pollute to create that electricity. So what I really don't like about the car is that the infrastructure is just not in place right now, you know, to make it easy for somebody who's gonna buy that car. And the multimedia system is kind of all it really shows. This is a brand new car, they should have put at least some effort into that. The performance is kind of average also, and you've got the rear seat that you cannot fold because there's a big battery back there. We like though the zero emission feature, the fact that it's gonna purify the air as soon as you're gonna roll with the car. Five minutes to fill up that hydrogen tank. This is really fast, even if this car is basically an electric car in some kind of way. You've got the coupe style, which is a lot less Battlestar Galactica than the previous generation, the refined interior, and the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus. I dig some security feature like that. Where it hurts the most though is the price, $65,908.25 with taxes right here for the base model in Canada. Who will buy that? I don't know. Minus $5,000 as an incentive from the government. And if you want to go with the limited package, $90,000, wow. And you still don't get access to that incentive because of the price of the car. What will happen in winter? Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm kind of scared for the future of the hydrogen. Quebec has some really great plans though, but they kind of gave it to the private sector. What will happen? I'm not sure. I still believe hydrogen can make a point in transport, in big cargo ship, you know, those big trucks that are handling our goods every day. But in a small car right now, well, we're gonna need more infrastructure. What do you think about that? Comment section down there below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you another time on Car Question.